Hey, super learners. Um, we're going to read Keisha Ann Can just one more time, but today we're going to focus on the characters and the setting. So the characters are the people, animals, or creatures in a story. And the setting is where and when a story takes place. So here we go, Keisha Ann Can by Daniel Kirk, and we are gonna be learning about characters and the setting. Who can catch the school bus for the early morning ride? Who can wait in line until it's time to go inside? Who can sit in front because she's teacher's biggest fan? Who can stand to say the pledge? Help me with this part. Keisha Ann can. Hmm. When I want to identify the characters, I think to myself, who is this story about? So remember, Keisha Ann is the main character in the story. The story is mostly about her. Who are some of the other characters in this story? Let's look on this page. Yep, that's one of them. Yep, and her friends. Good. All right. Who knows all the weekdays? Who can read the alphabet? Who can sharpen pencils? Who can feed the classroom pet? Who can count how many days it's been since school began? Who can pass out paint and brushes? Help me with this part. Keisha Ann can. Hmm. When I want to identify the setting, I think to myself, where is the story happening? What do you see in this picture over here? All right, we see Keisha Ann. Mm-hmm, there's an alphabet. Oh, an easel. And, oh, it looks like she's counting. Where do you think Keisha Ann is in this picture? Yep, I think you're right. I think she's at school. Good. Who can paint a picture and sign it with their name? Who can guess what words are missing in a rhyming game? Who wants to make a storybook and comes up with a plan? Who can share with all her classmates? Help me, Keisha Ann can. Who can build a tower of blocks a dozen stories high? And if the blocks fall down, who's going to have another try? Who can make the sandwich that she eats for lunch today? And when she's done and cleaned up, who will go outside and play? Oop, looks like it's thinking a little bit. Thinking a lot. <laughs> who can take turns jumping rope until recess is done? Who can lie down on her mat and have some rest time fun? Who can play at dress up time with three scarves and a fan? Who can be just who she wants? Help me with this part. Keisha Ann can. Who can practice spelling words until she gets them right? Who can ask for what she needs and always be polite? Who can count her coins and count again in case she's wrong? Who can play marimba as she sings the sweetest song? Who can learn and work and play and make her dreams come true? Help me with this part. Keisha Ann can do these things and you can do them too. Very good. So remember, let's go back and think about setting. Setting is where the story happens, but it's also when the story happens. So when 
Like what time of day do you think the story is happening? Right, it's like the daytime, very good. Um, and it's during the school day. So maybe when she first gets on the bus, it's early morning. When she goes to lunch or, or goes to the playground, it's kind of in the afternoon. And then you can tell on this page that the sun is starting to go down a little bit. So maybe it's in the evening. So characters, repeat after me, characters, people, animal, or creatures in a story. So who's in the story? Good. Setting. Where the story happens. Awesome job. You guys did great. And I will see you in a little bit.